Okay, yeah, we can start with intentions and distractions. Uh, my intention for the call is yeah to uh, refine the audit document and and draft a bit on the mutual accountability post. Uh, and I don't have any distractions. Pass it to you, Ivy. Uh, yeah, my intention is just to uh, sync with you on all these um topics that be listed in the agenda, and I have no distraction. Also. Okay, I'll share my screen. I mean, okay. not to have the agenda, but just to, yeah, to have it. Uh, I really like the idea that you mentioned here to make it next spring because this spring, yeah, I I feel I'm like overlooked with all the... Uh, the interviews. Mm -hmm. and yeah, so I have to uh, do all these interviews and and also doing another post, so I think that's a fantastic idea. It will help a lot, and I don't think there is a hurry, right, to make it this spring. So, yeah. And, yeah. and we also got this um, notice just like last week. You know, so yeah. I think it's a little too late to um, finish it within the current sprint, so, yeah. Yeah. Should but we I... go to, should, should we add it on the, on the board? In the Zen Hub board? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I already created an issue for that. Oh, okay. You're awesome. Yeah. So I <laughs> created an issue for it and yeah, I assigned it to both of us. But I haven't okay. started anything here. I just started reading the links that um Juan shared. So the idea here will be we will uh, do it async. Right, and then we'll just compare mm -hmm. what we have by maybe by next week, and see okay. what we have. Okay, awesome. So okay. now we can just dive into the audit document, right? Yep. So okay, we are here. Uh, I should open the the Eduardo. Uh, just give me a second. Let me turn on the AC. Uh, I don't know. I can't see my. Okay, gravity is there. Let's so rich. And soft color. Okay. So, what we have here is like the first audit we gathered at the beginning, right? Like, instructions is question. I didn't check on that. This question is answered by now. Okay. But what about the, the general process? Yeah. Um, it should be somewhere, I, I right? Would, I'm thinking that there will be this still um, Word document where we list what do you that. Think? Um, wait, sorry, I'm on mute. <laughs> sorry, I'm on, on mute. Um, what I'm trying to say is um, we, will, uh, we will still have two documents. So we will keep the general process, you know, this major document. Like we explain the process, this Word doc. Then we will just remove the the, the, the details of the criteria. And then this, let's just put this, the link in this document. You know, because we need this Word document to explain. It's just like the checklist, you know. It's like, for example, if we're doing it in, a, in an actual document, it's like the first page is the general process, like the, the summary of what the audit is about. And then the second page is the checklist that we have to, that they have to work on. Or maybe I can um, prepare, I can have the, like we can have just one file and then I will just add one sheet for the process, the general process. And then the second sheet is the checklist. So we will just have one Excel file. What do you think? You're in mute. <laughs> what I was saying is... 
because what I'm thinking is like we just gather all the things that we, we have it and we create like this final document mm -hmm. and and then we focus the second half of the call on the on the other thing. But we can okay. do like half time. Like, I mean, we can finish, if we need like the whole hour to finish this, we just do this. I think that's yeah. that's like the goal, the major goal of this call, okay. uh, get this ready. Uh, and then if we have, if we still have time, then we work on the, on the mutual accountability methods. Okay. That yeah, I think we, what, we yeah. just, yeah. yeah. I'm just trying, what I'm trying to explain is the format, but it's very minor. So let's just focus on, um, integrating the feedback from the, uh, previous audit that we had. I mean, just change the questions or improve the questions in this checklist, in this, um, Excel sheet. Mm -hmm. Because what? Well, I... but, but the... yeah, but th there was also a bigger feedback, for example, from Libby, adding that to the advice process and all that stuff. Uh, it should be on the general process we discussed. It. I think ah. I remember that way. Wait, can I see? Can you send That's me the I... link of the? Oh yes. Of the yes. previous I'll audits. You... Yeah, I will add all three here. That's first one is gravity. Okay. Then one reach. And the third one is software. Okay. Uh, what I was thinking, we should also open like our first audit. So I'm going here. And then we. Did you see my screen? Oh, I'm looking at the document. Wait. Yeah. But, well, what I was thinking is like, we have like, if you want to put the checklist on, on the Excel, maybe we delete that part and we add the link, right? What do you think? Which one? Which one do we delete? Uh, like the, this part. Uh, all of this, since this is on the yeah, ah, until here, yes, right or yeah, yeah. So, no, what I'm thinking is just put uh in this Excel sheet, like um, because in the actual in the spreadsheet there is um sheet one, right? And then we can add another sheet. In the first sheet, I will copy paste. Like I will do it um, like this. Ah, okay. So I'm just gonna add okay. one more sheet here. Can you see? Uh, mm -hmm. And then this is gonna be yeah, able to rename yeah. the first one, like the general process. And then just the... Okay, and this, yeah, the second one is the set of criteria. The yes, checklist. and this the second one is the, yeah, the checklist. Okay, awesome. Yeah, then I'm just gonna copy paste here the general process from the Word um, document. Okay. Uh, on general process, the only feedback we, we had is from Libby, so we should start from here, right? Yep, yep. We start with the software feedback. Ah, also like the dates. That's also a thing that came up with Eduardo. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Where is that feedback from Libby? Uh, the advice uh, the, yeah. So uh, let me see. Oh, I I can only I can only read. Oh, where? Oh, the. Okay, wait. Let me change it. Yep, you should be able to edit it now. Can you refresh? Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, awesome. 
Okay. Oh, you, you, you're, you're editing here. Okay, uh, let me. Yeah, edit. I'm editing in the yeah. Word first, and then I will copy paste it in the um okay. in the Excel. Okay, what, what, meanwhile you do that part, I, I'll be checking the, the other feedback, so we yeah. go. Okay. And then we... Um, so, Zep, in the general process, can you look mm -hmm. at the softgov um, document? We mentioned something here that the documentation will be gathered and saved in each working group section in the TEC forum. But we agreed in it was in, in, in uh, our call with Eduardo that we will not limit uh the documentation in the forum right so we, they don't have the documentation don't need have to be in the forum right i mean in this my opinion mm -hmm. it's i mean it's nice to have it uh, around but have it on the forum i think it's so uh, i mean i think it's very good because it's a way to be organized okay I mean, and then we will have all the, yeah, I mean, like the information and everything uh, can be like uh, around, but then the audit itself and with all the information uh, and the links and stuff, just the audit itself make a forum post. And, and uh, it, w that's something we could do. We don't need like, for example, I mean, Eduardo do the audit and he evaluates himself. And then when he finished it, Mm -hmm. Since it has to go to the advice process, so every member of this working group can see it, then we uh, we can add, just uh, add it on the forum post. That's something okay. we can do. Okay, so the forum post will will have only the audit checklist, not the documentation, because uh, what we were thinking before, the documentation that are required to complete the audit, like the roadmap, the up, manifesto. You're, you're, you're breaking up. Uh, can you hear me now? Better. I hear you better now. Yeah. I mean, the, what the idea here uh, before is like... Um, can you repeat, please? Uh, the idea here before is like um, the manifesto, I'm the roadmap. You can't hear me? Is that... Can you hear me? Hello, hello? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Right. Cool. Awesome. Uh, okay, where we were. You were talking about the, the general process, but you break up and I yeah, I mean, um, the document. Yeah, the documentation. The idea here before was that um, the documentation, like the manifesto, the roadmap, everything that we are looking for in the checklist, mm -hmm. should be posted in the forum. That's what we agreed before like um the documentations required should be gathered in the forum not just the audit result i mean not only the audit checklist so if we are not gathering these documents because it might also be a lot of work for them 
Uh, yeah. We have. We will just remove this um, statement. I mean, they don't have yeah. to save it in the. They oh, don't the, the second statement in the in the second. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not the documentation, it's the audit actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We don't need to delete it, we just need to go, yeah, this one. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna... Okay. The, uh, before... Thirty. Wait, am I reporting? Okay. Oh, ah, I'm seeing you already uh, added the feedback, uh, the Libby feedback here. Where? On the the checklist on the sheet. The questions. Yeah, for example, on the manifesto, it says it is up to date. Does it reflect the current status, goals, and the working style of the team? And I don't see that part where we say, yeah, if yes, what was the last change? Please highlight in the manifesto. That yeah, was I, you wanted to remove. Yeah, I removed it. That's why I okay. didn't add it there. Okay, okay, awesome. Okay, so um, what's the next one? Okay. Should I, when I'm doing the changes on the checklist, uh, I, I will to make suggestions. So you also read them, okay? Okay. And then you say if you agree or not. Okay. Oh, but you, you cannot make suggestions on, on an Excel document, right? You can. Uh, I think you can. If I can, I don't... But... Or just, um, just type it directly and then change the font color so I can see what you changed. Okay. Thank you. 
I'm on the decision making. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about being more subjective. On... But, but it, huh, I'm confused now. Which one made it, it be safe? Okay. Which document are you right now? Uh, I'm cop. I finished yeah, yeah. the general process, so I'm just gonna put here and wait. General process. Okay, and then Okay. Yeah, let me check it. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, can you check the the decision making? Okay. Decision making. Okay, same as the this is the country you see Okay, in the No, we were talking with Libby to make it more subjective, this part. Hmm, yeah. That's but I'm a bit confused, comment. like, subje subjective, what you can think is, yes. I mean, the good thing is, uh, since it's going to go on advice process, even if, if it's subjective, uh, since the community are going to approve it, so yeah, it makes sense. Um, but I think I really want to put here that the um that the major decisions, I mean the community decisions, should be should go through the forum voting process, you know. But for the other decisions, um, yeah, they don't have to go through the forum voting process. So I would keep so. the first question. Then we can add the, the yeah, others. The, the idea here, uh, what Libby was saying, it's like we're trying to bring sovereignty to working groups. Uh -huh. So uh, we, we don't want them to be voting all the time. I mean, of course, yeah. when there is a, a major thing. Uh, yeah, that's the community. Vote. Yeah. But for example, right now we are changing the audit and we are not 
uh, voting on that. People trust mm. us, and that's why we are changing it. Mm. Okay, so how will we... Um, how do we do this? Is it participated? If we ask the first question, does the team has uh, does the team have um, participatory decision making? Do they need a link mm -hmm. for that? Do they need? Yeah. Because actually, the first two questions okay, yeah. are the same. You know, I mean, if they have that participatory decision making, that means that the contributors yeah. participate. So it's redundant. Can't. It's exactly. duplicate. Yeah. The, the second question before was, uh, let me see, uh, was does the working, does the contributors have access to the decision tracking document? Yeah, we, I think we don't. Let's see. I would just use the second question for the first one. So we delete the first one? Yeah, because the, the meaning is just the same, I think. Mm -hmm. We can participate yeah. in decision making. And um, this, like, do we ask them to the, show the things? I mean, the thing is, like, uh, it's what Libby was saying. We even take decisions on calls. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, we can make those links, but yeah. Please. It would be like a lot of just that. just a few examples. Maybe in the link in column. in the link column i mean they don't have to put all the decisions made you know just just a few examples not all the decisions that have been made like if they make a decision in a in a call maybe okay. just one link yeah. is okay okay yeah what do yeah you i think? like it yeah it's fantastic so does the community the working group communicate the decision with its contributors of the community? I mean it's kinda of the same, right? Yeah. If they're yes. participating. I mean no, actually not, because if, if if some members are not in the call and a decision has been made, oh, true, the members true. will not know it. Yeah. I mean the call is going to be recorded. Yes, but if the if he, if he, if the for example, I don't usually watch the calls, and if a decision is made, I will not know that I have yeah. to watch the call, right? But I mean, we. I, I think, mean, mm -hmm. yeah, you're not going to watch every call, but if you are in a comms working group and you're working there, uh -huh. and you cannot attend the call, the call is being recorded just so that people can check this call and sync with the others. Even if okay. you cannot make it made it in time. Yeah. So I mean, um, do, does the does the yeah? But if it's not in the call, for example, it's in the agenda or uh or in another document or in another platform. But the the a decision is has been made. How will I know that there is a new decision that has been made? I mean, should should we should the steward or should somebody notify it in the channel that um hey uh check out this agenda like that i mean i think we can uh, on the decision making okay. yeah we, we have to have the agenda involved i mean it's not necessary to be all the time saying hey we have this decision here but have the agenda with Mm, okay, and it, it's up uh, to the members if they want to know it or not. Okay. Exactly. But I think it's 
good to have the decision. I mean, it, that's something we still have to talk with uh, Libby and Sofkov tomorrow. Maybe I can. Uh, yeah, I should. I don't know. Mm. Or maybe I just uh, send her a message. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm going to do an interview with her this week, actually. So I will take notes. Okay. Wait a second. Okay, so we add it now, like mm -hmm. add those decisions uh, on the agenda, for example, and I will uh, talk with uh, Libby, and if she mm -hmm. thinks that's a good idea, we just leave it this way, and if not, we can just delete it. But I think that's a good way to communicate, having the agenda yeah. up to date. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to, it's just a suggestion how to do it, but I mean, they can do it in any way they want. But it's important that the working group communicate the decisions with the mem members. Okay. I mean, in any in any way, they are free to choose mm -hmm. um, any um, way or any option they want. But as long as they communicate the decisions, then it's good. I mean, okay. because, yeah. the, because the first question is, um, do you let the contributors participate, right? And the second question yeah. is, do the other members know once a decision is made i mean um I, I may not be able to participate in the decision making but i feel that i have to know if there is a decision has been made right even if i didn't participate in the decision making you know so um yeah, yeah. they can communicate the decisions in any way they want it can be in the agenda in the calls you know as long as they communicate it it, it should be fine yeah, that's fantastic. Okay. So with we, we delete that this. Do we add another? Right? Yeah. Oh, you want to? No, I don't know if we should. Questions? No, I'm thinking if there should be another question like the forum voting process. Mm. I mean, the thing is, like many working groups never use that voting process. Yeah, but we should encourage them to use the forum voting process, right, to be... Okay, but yeah, if it's not a requirement, then let's not put it there. I mean, I... I, I, I like to vote, actually, but the, but the thing is, like, the community feedback is saying... I mean, it's not only Libya, Grief also told yeah. us, uh, Juan, uh, yeah, there's many people who told us, like, uh, we don't need to vote on every decision we made. We are we have our own sovereignty, mm -hmm. and when when our decision affect others, then we, it's when we vote. Yeah. So how do we identify which decisions should go through the form voting process? That's what we have oh, to put it here. I mean, does this type of decision go through the? forum voting process like for example i will write yeah. something like if a decision that affects the or let's say this a community what are you writing in the checklist in column 20. Oh, maybe when you've... oh yeah, there's yeah. a community yeah. decision go through the forum voting process like that or if a decision does the community, community decision go or if a decision will affect the whole community well it doesn't have to affect the whole community even if it affects other working groups you know the majority of the decision will affect the majority of the community 
not all but the majority does it go through the forum voting press mm -hmm. like that yeah yeah and um, yeah uh, if a decision will affect the majority. yeah mm -hmm. okay what do you think <laughs> Yeah, I think. What do you think, Zep? You're breaking up again. Oh, no, no, it's me. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, so I think that's all the little feedback. So we okay. move to the next one. The or you want to... Yeah, sorry. I mean, if if you want, we can continue this in another day so we can talk about the uh, mutual, like this other topic. I, I Well, I really wanted to get that finished. Okay. But, but I mean, we, we, I don't know. I was saying, I was going to say we can keep uh, maybe a, a longer than an hour, but I have actually a, a call with Eduardo. Okay. Mm, just, what do you What do you think? What, what do you prefer? Maybe we can do another call during this week. Yeah, it's also fine with me. Okay. So maybe when we finish this part here. Okay. And then we we just yeah go on. We all go on the calendar and we set up a, a meeting. And then on okay. that meeting we finish this. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We normally do it on Wednesday. Wednesday, right? Yeah. So yeah, we do it. Uh, yeah, we can do it Wednesday at the time you want in the morning. Yeah, an hour earlier than this if you want. That's fine with me. Yeah, fantastic. Do you make the yeah and make the calendar? Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. What else? Should we talk okay, about so the... We move... mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we move to the this mutual accountability method. Okay. Uh, and I think on the community, or the uh, uh, that's a brainstorm I had, but maybe you <laughs> can identify some others. But the accountability methods, uh, I well, I'm feeling... That's a brainstorm for me. Uh, I think the meetings are being recorded. As I'm one person on the GitHub issues, that makes the the issue to get through and what making one person um, accountable for that. Uh, it's more uh, more possible that this issue gets complete. Then we have the gravity uh, graded extensions, the transparency audit, the code of conduct, and the rules and boundaries. And what I was thinking, then we, for example, I take uh, I don't know, uh, transparency audit. And then I write how the transparency audit uh, helps the mutual accountability. And yeah, and we, we do that on every point. And maybe you have other points you know that I don't. Okay, wait, so what is this for? Why are uh, we doing this? Well, transparency and soft are, are, are linked to make a proposal on that on the forum. Ah, oh, so like um, each working group or it's only for a soft gov and um, for a transparency? No, it, 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 I mean, it's us going to make a proposal on the forum uh, with the mutual accountability method. Oh. Um, yeah, and then if the community agrees, then fantastic. If the community thinks we need to add more stuff, then mm -hmm. they, we will have their feedback. It's like an okay. advice process. Yeah. You just say what we have and then say if they agree or not. But these mutual accountability methods are only for transparency or is it for um, the whole community? No, no, it's for the community. It's, it's not okay. actually for this working group in concrete, it's for the whole community. And okay, transparency and software are working together on, on that thing. Okay, I understand. Yeah, I, these are great. I mean, Gravity graduated. Um, sanctions. Yeah. So what do we have to do with this? I mean, just add details what this, how these methods are being done. 
Yeah, and how these methods are helping to bring mutual accountability on the community. Okay. So you want so, to... Um... Yeah, we can use those uh, last uh, 15 minutes we have. Mm -hmm. uh, draft, uh, yeah, just brainstorm here a bit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I will also uh, want to show this. Uh, I will send a, a message a little bit with that, with that document. And maybe we can also use it on, on tomorrow's soft golf call. And yeah, it would be fantastic because in that call, there is a lot of people who is involved on, the, on this stuff. Okay. I but think yeah, we, we, can, we, we can get that started. Okay, I think we can get something from our manifesto because transparency wait. Okay. Because I think we wrote something there and then we can just take the words out from okay. the, the manifesto. Um wait, let's see. I'll be writing here some uh, thoughts. Like, for example, this one. Oh, then it's also in the form post about that topic. Uh, Maybe we can also add here that um, members, you know, so um, members are also encouraged to volunteer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, I think these are just the same. Yeah, true. Just two paragraphs, but I can.
Cool. What's up? Hmm? Yeah, did you pick it from the manifesto, right? Yeah, from the forum. Oh, yeah. That's great. Review by the community. I think we can say something aligned align with uh, when there is one person uh, holding the flag like this. I mean, not, not just the same wording, but the, mm -hmm. the idea is like saying, well, one per when, when only one person is uh, responsible for that issue, then he knows he's responsible for it and he has the responsibility uh, to... I mean, the thing is, if a lot of people are assigned, then mm -hmm. People can think, oh, maybe he's working on that. Then yeah. I, it, it gets through a confusion. Like the yeah, idea here definitely. is to avoid a similar person to. Um, this will motivate. Or this will. Uh, Encourage to accomplish something like that. Yeah. Encourage to be one person to complete the task. And that he, he has the sole responsibility. Yeah. Yeah, I think Mission we can also be avoided. Yeah, exactly. Is this correct? I think we can we can finish the call here. Okay. We yeah, we gather all the the inputs and mm -hmm. I will I will try to bring this document up also on Softcore. Okay. Uh, yeah, and we I mean the, the idea is to have the this proposal this print. I don't know if we will going to make it. I hope yes. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's I mean it's not only us. It, we are also depending on others. So yeah, uh, little by little and get the things done. That's what matters. Okay. So um, then we will just meet each other again on Wednesday for the hack session on the audit checklist. No, I will meet uh, Libby because of the, um, I'm doing, oh, I think we should do also you, an interview for you. Uh, we're doing interviews for the onboarding video. No, I mean, uh, you and I. I mean, mm -hmm. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. The audit checklist. We haven't finished updating the spreadsheet. 
Yeah. Ah, yeah. I have to update my calendar. And I will send it. I haven't created it yet. I will ah. send it to you. Okay. Yeah. So an hour, um, like eleven a.m. CET. Is it? Is it fine with you? Yeah. Fantastic. And I mean, that is good for me. The, the uh. Yeah, Wednesday morning is good uh, all the time. Okay. So, okay, what else, Zeb? I'm, get, I'm being a normal person. Once again. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah, uh, okay, oh, so I'm having internet issues now. Do you still hear me? Do you hear me? Sometimes no, but yeah, it's okay. Anyway, so um, we will have another hack session on Wednesday, and uh, tomorrow you mm -hmm. will have this uh talk with Levy on the so uh on the mutual accountability. On soft -top. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Ivy. All right. uh, we see you on Wednesday and I keep you updated with everything is happening. Okay. Thanks, I'm a bit yeah. laggy right now.